Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of What's Jamie Up To? And we have another unboxing. I've been waiting to buy this for a very long time. My Scrooble Scramble videos on this channel have done amazingly well. I think one's got about 300,000 views, which is insane. So I've done Scrooble Scramble 1, Scrooble Scramble 2. There isn't a Scrooble Scramble 3. However, this is a special edition Super Mario Scrooble Scramble, only available in Japan. So let's get into it. Royal Mail delivered it yesterday, which was Sunday, which is great to see them out delivering on a Sunday. Only parcels on a Sunday though, not mail. You don't want your bills on a Sunday. So, not packaged particularly well. Um, hopefully there's bubble wrap in here. Trusty Victorinox, Swiss Champ, Swiss Army Knife. That I use for every unboxing. Needs a clean and a sharpen. I may send it off to Victorinox in Switzerland um, and get it serviced. And I think you get a lifetime, lifetime guarantee on them. Uh, I've had this 10 years now, so it's looking a bit worse for wear. So, let's get into this. There is a little bit of bubble wrap. The chap did say he was going to send me something else as well. I bought this off eBay. Um, this was £25 all in. So that's £25 posted to my door. Um, it took the chap about two weeks to post it. And he said, apologies for the delay, for whatever reason. Uh, I'll send you something else as well as an apology. So I'll wait and see whatever that may be. You know, I was in no rush to receive it, so I wasn't bothered. Okay. thing is inside oh here we go this little thing here a little package oh he's taped it to the box though Ooh, that's not a good thing to do no hopefully it can come off without taking anything off the box slowly yeah here we go okay so this is a little gift ah a little badge Oh, a little Yoshi badge. A little Yoshi badge. It's lenticular or holographic, so it changes from Yoshi to the egg, if you can see that on there. Brilliant. It's only a little thing, isn't it? But, you know. Oh, hang on. I think there's another one. We've got two. The guy must be a Nintendo fan. He's got out a toad one as well. There we go. Can you see that changing? Yeah. Great. I might give them to the kids actually. Okay, anyway, for the main event, let's get into this. That's enough chit chat. So we have can't read Japanese. So the Super Mario uh, DX, which is like a split level or three level screwball scramble um, for our Japanese friends on YouTube. You can probably read that. I believe this is by Epoch is the name of the people who make it. I don't think there's any Nintendo logos on here so I don't think it I don't know it could be an official product it looks pretty good though here's the box I'm just going to show this so that people 
can read this who understand Japanese. So let's get on the back. Here's the instructions in case anybody needs them. If anybody needs to translate them, you can pause it now and zoom in. Okay, let's get into the box. Uh, now it has been sellotaped shut, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, the sellotape should come off. Ooh, superb. Got all the inserts. So I'll probably watch this back to see how I can pack it all away. the life and get that out of there. Just pull the whole thing out. No? Do we try it from the other side? Maybe. It looks to be in very good condition actually. There we go. Okay, so that is sellotape shut as well. Okay. Now I'm none the wiser. Ah, now does this lift out? Yes, that is much easier to get out of there. So, now is this brand new still sealed? Do you know it could be? Ah, oh, yeah, look. The stickers are still on the sheet and everything. This is brand new, never been used. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, let's pop the box to the side. Let's get this set up. Here is the main um, course. You've got a few buttons here. Um, and you've got some more stuff here. So let's get this set up um, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've put all the stickers on. Um, I just think it looks better with the stickers on. Just look too boring otherwise. Um, and the cardboard piece is just like, it just clips in there. Like, it just clips in, there's a couple of clips at the back, just like a background. So I think I have a rough idea of how this works. Um, you have a red plastic ball. You don't have ball bearings, metal ball bearing for some weird reason. Uh, you drop it in here by Mario. Um, this is very, very tricky. I've had a quick go of it. Not like the other screwball scrambles, they're pretty straightforward to work out how to do. So there's three switches on here, there's a couple of knobs and things that you turn as well. So the brown one, down the chute, and then you land on a couple of red bits and there's a piranha plant that comes up here. You see that? So you have to hop over these. Oh, I've actually done it. Um, I haven't done it and then because if you come out early if it lands down here early then that's it game over so that should just fall down there and down to here and onto this wall here so brown lever again up gonna have quite a bit of patience for this game Okay, so down the chute here, onto these wheels that have got a picture of the ghost boo on them, and then you turn them here. So you turn, turn these, and then you just flip it back the other way into the other wheel. So the wheel turns here, and you can go down these other chutes. But there is, I think there's two ways of doing this. You can go down the back here, or you can go down to this here, so we'll probably go down to this front piece here. There's a little gate here where you can turn this dial. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. So let's turn the wheel. There we go. Ah, now something's gone wrong there. No, it hasn't. In fact, you can go onto this piece here. I wanted to just fly down here, but never mind. So we'll go onto this piece here. So you need to move these somehow. 
Oh no, that's it, game over. I've come out here, so that's game over for me. So you get the gist of it. It's very tricky. There's lots of different ways to play it. Um, it will keep you entertained for quite a while. So thank you very much for watching this. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. And please like this video because it really helps with like-minded people finding these sorts of videos with the YouTube algorithm. And the next time you find yourself on YouTube, why don't you have a look and see what's Jamie up to? Oh, and by the way, there is a little catalogue. I forgot to mention this. Um, there are very similar games. I think it is a licensed Nintendo product because it does say copyright Nintendo just there. Um, I'm assuming it would with the likeness of all the characters. So we have a Mario Tennis one. Um, lots of different games here. This is the one that we have. Um, yeah, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know what it actually says. But they do look really good, really colourful games. That one looks very good. Okay, until the next time, folks.